So my point is, how are you going to break the duopoly of two parties who had 35 to 40 percent of the vote over the last several decades? How do you break the monopoly of these two major parties who presumably are your main targets or opponents in this yeah, election? It, it, but I can use uh, uh, exemplary grace of uh, my uh, previous uh, Janam, that is, uh, my, uh, there, there were already two doyens in the film industry when we stepped in. That hegemony was very obvious, very strong, but we made a point and... Uh, so you broke the MGR Shivaji Ganesh yes, legacy? Yes, legacy. And we, we were able to carve out a space there while they were still there and I think we can do it. And what you're talking about as power is definitely not virtue because it's criminality we are talking about. So that's giving money is, is an offense, according to me. You're making an interesting point. You're saying that like in cinema, you broke the legacy or, or broke the duopoly of Shivaji Ganeshan and MGR and carved out your own niche. You want to do that in politics. But is politics a much, is it much more difficult as you're finding in politics to simply make that leap from stardom to a successful politician? Is that much more difficult? Because uh, as you say, there's criminality. Uh, uh, no. I, I'll, I'll tell you, the, the, the main purpose of politics is slowly over the time, at least in Tamil Nadu, has been forgotten. It's not seizing power, it's not staying in power, but the service of people is totally forgotten. And if you're talking about uh, my uh, being nascent in politics, it's not fully true because I've been doing what is primarily the right thing to do in politics in service of people. I've been doing that even uh, as an actor. For 40 years I've been running an organization called Kamala's and Welfare Association. With, uh, with our limited means we have done stuff that is uh, quite commendable. I didn't do it alone. I only led that group but we have done some wonderful work and that's when we realized this kind of work can be expanded and the vision could grow uh, further if we uh, enter politics, but, electoral but, politics. But as I said, which is much more difficult? Is it more difficult to be a successful actor or to be a successful politician? Uh, I want an honest answer. It, it, it's difficult from the way people receive you. If the people don't receive you well, it's going to be difficult either way, in either of these professions. Fortunately, I see that the same gusto with which they received me as an actor. As a matter of fact, I see more of it. I've been seeing uh, fame, criticism, applause, and lack of it through my 60-odd <laughs> year career. I have never seen this amount of trust, interaction, and uh, love showered on me in all this experience. It's a very new, thrilling uh, ride for me. What's, what's the most thrilling thing for you of being a politician? The trust. It brings tears to my eyes. The trust that they have and the list of to-do list that they give me. They stop the car and I thought they just want to look at me. They quickly say uh, that I, I know you're in a hurry, but do this, do this, do this for the people. But then what will it take for your 4% to become 40% to be a challenger for power? Because as I said, it appears at the moment that Tamil Nadu is, between, uh, is caught in a tug of war between the DMK and the AIDMK. Where do you fit in? Uh, we are talking about something which is about two and a half years back, uh, the four person. Uh, the party, as far as human resources concerned, from there to the reception from the people, it is, we, we've grown leaps and bounds. So it is bound to make that difference in the poll booth as well. 